For WKNO News in Memphis, I'm Christopher Blank. Memphis City Council members approved a $6.89 increase in the city's solid waste fee Tuesday on the first of three votes. Bill Drees of the Daily Memphian says the proposed solid waste fee hike that would take effect with the start of the fiscal year could be the first of three across three years under the plan outlined Tuesday by City Solid Waste Division Director Philip Davis. The first reading vote was part of a consent agenda of other unrelated items, and there was no council discussion just before the vote. Earlier, the council heard a plan for a change in solid waste services with the fee hike. They also heard that there will likely be calls to increase the fee again a year from now and two years down the road. That could raise the fee to $42.58 if those two increases are approved by the council in future budget seasons. That's a big if that depends heavily on what happens to current solid waste services in the first year when it would go from the current $29.96 to $36.85. For the Daily Memphian, I'm Bill Drees. About 200,000 Tennesseans are vision impaired, and they can have a hard time managing prescription medications. That will be easier now because of a policy that went into effect this year. WPLN's Catherine Sweeney reports. Federal drug regulators make sure pharmacies put a lot of information on their prescription bottles. But there hasn't been any kind of requirement to support vision impaired people. That could look like having a larger print option or printing labels in Braille. Tennessee lawmakers created their own requirements in 2022, and they went into effect this spring. The law says Tennesseans have a right to accessible prescription labels and that pharmacies must provide them. Disability advocates have been pushing for policies like this one for decades. Congress ordered drug regulators to study possible solutions back in 2003, according to the American Federation for the Blind but there have been no changes at the federal level. There have been federal recommendations for best practices since 2016. They say pharmacies should offer talking bottles or smartphone-supported ones, refuse to add extra charges for the accommodations, and make sure labels are durable enough that they'll last till the medication's expiration date. Catherine Sweeney, WPLN News. This is 91.1. More news at WKNOFM.org and on the WKNO app.